me today? It's only 11. <laughs> <laughs> you have such thorough newspapers in this country. So many sections. Business, art, real estate. <laughs> I never read the news. Too depressing. Crouching tiger. <laughs> <laughs> what is this that you're doing? Yoga. Helps me relax. There's too much stress in my life. Angry monkey. <laughs> stress is normal. Bending in this manner is not. <laughs> so many good apartments sitting empty. <coughs> you thinking about moving out? The kids will be upset. But they'll get over it. <laughs> I'll be devastated. But surely, this is too small a space for you. You have so many activities and rituals. <laughs> it's so cozy. And to be with family is very important to me. Family is the greatest gift to a mother. So you're not planning to leave? Nope. Good. I'm glad you'll stay. I'm learning so many things from you. Like how you tie your hair in that tight little bun. That's an art. And how you like rice with every meal, even <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> and I have learned so many American dishes from you, like pork tarts and slim fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew hair could be such a wonderful color as yours. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. Comes from a bottle. I know, the color is now on my shadi. <laughs> Did I spill? I am so sorry. But when you hang all those pretty dresses all over the bathroom, it's a little hard to miss. Looks like a fabric stall in there. What do you wish me to do? I can't hang them outside. Someone might steal them. Yeah, sure they will. <laughs> Blanche, your dirty dishes are in the sink. I'll clean up my dishes after breakfast. The oil all over the stove <laughs> is from cooking curry. I am cooking this afternoon. I will clean up then. But the smell is driving me crazy. It smells very ethnic in here. <laughs> Better than the smell of your perfume. Synthetic. <laughs> you have a stick up your ass, Mina. We go to. back to Bora Bora. <laughs> and you will be out on the street with your yoga mat. You are no example of a mother. Well, at least I kept her with me. Shipping your son off to a foreign country when he's only 16. Doesn't sound like the best parenting to me. Tarek's been here so long, he's more American than Bengali. We sacrificed for this opportunity. What do you sacrifice? Where is her wedding board? Where is her dowry? <laughs> it's not easy being on your own with a kid. I did the best I could. Your best will not do. A mother takes care of her children. <coughs> Sees to it that their place in the world is secure. This is not a family she comes from. It's a club. Belong if you want. Let your membership lapse. <coughs> she does not even cook. A wife cooks. A wife takes care of the home. Oof, I have been upstairs. What are those pictures they have on that wall? Hey, I'm not responsible for their taste. What about the couch? It is not fit for dogs. <laughs> I told her those pictures were weird. She says they're art. Tarak insists on modern furniture. You're talking about that metal torture device. I could not sit on it for more than five minutes. Your ass went numb, right? Dead as a stone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about color, you can paint the walls. You care very much about color. Doesn't matter, do what you want. I'm trying to give you what you want. Because the small compromises don't matter. If you want to be this way, I'm going to work. It's my duty to provide for the household and your duty to decorate it. He's always at work, like a good man. <laughs> she works too. Where? Where does she work? Someplace very important. You're her mother. You don't even know where your daughter spends her days. It's too complicated for you to understand, that's all. Oh, I have a degree in economics. I speak three languages. Explain. <laughs> she's a 
She's a... She works with blind people. Charity work. Nothing wrong with that. But there is a more home than our house. You're supposed to be building a home together. Are we together? The only thing I see linking us is the fact we have our mothers in the basement. I'm ready to make this official. You refuse. Oh! <laughs> Good morning. Hey, kid. What's with the noise? A disagreement, nothing important. <laughs> Don't blame this on me. You made me a promise. Amma, do you need money? Huh? <coughs> <laughs> I don't need your money. As you wish. I'll be home by seven. See how she talks to him? She doesn't need to take his shit. You two need to stay out of this. I'm not the one always rushing off to the store. You eat the food I buy. I don't know how you spend your money. <laughs> Let's get the record straight. I don't eat her food. You know what she was cooking yesterday? I look in the pan and I see something I've never seen before. <laughs> you know what she had sizzling in there? Brains. She was cooking brains. Do you know what your mother cooks? Pork, disgusting, dirty. Okay, not everybody eats the same thing. There's nothing wrong with a little bacon. It's against my religion. Well, brains are against my religion. <laughs> if you're gonna eat what you want, then Mina can eat what she wants. It's only fair. Do we sure? What did you just say? I said you eat big. Okay, let's just speak in the same language. Karan? Yes, Mina? I'm going to pray. I swear she's reading romance novels in there. <laughs> Nobody prays that much. Just leave her alone. Honey, if you're not careful, you're gonna lose him. I don't need relationship advice from you. Oh, because your way of dealing with it's working like gangbusters. Hello? Child, Senior Sanfriano. Buongiorno. Hello there. <laughs> Senior Sanfriano, this is Blanche Stevens, my mother. Very nice to meet you. I see where the Karen gets her abuse. Well, aren't you charming? I bring in the paint up your wall. These don't want to work very hard getting everything into a shape. That's her. Nose to the grindstone, not me. I'm all about fun. <laughs> I bet you're someone who understands the value of a little uh, time off. Blanche? Mr. Uh, Sampriano, I, I don't want this paint. Could you just take it back? Il colore che avete scelto è bello. Il colore non era la mia scelta. Non ti piace? Sorry, it's just today. I go slow. Il colore... It's not the translation. Since when do you speak Italian? Since college, Blanche. Oh, well, excuse me if I can't keep track of every fad you ever went through. It's not a fad, it's a language. I've been mean, through this. These huge important chunks of my life mean nothing to you. I'm here now when you need me. I don't need you. All of my trouble is because of you. Yeah, maybe I'll come don't go blaming this on me. You two were in trouble before I got here. You think you're helping? I think you would know a good well, thing I'm in the ass. We don't know. Do you want to give me relationship advice? Because that is priceless. Your love life is the same cycle over and over. Again, meet them, marry them, dump them. <laughs> well, that's better than the way you live your life. Coma victims have more fun. Scream later, we have a guest. <laughs> Mr. Sampriano, this is Mina Kanvar, Tarek's mother. Very nice to meet you. Very nice boy. Thank you. <laughs> I talk too much. I drive the boys to the store crazy. They like it when I run these little errands. Uh oh, Karen. We got a live one in the house. You better watch your wicked mind. <laughs> so, you work in a store? <laughs> Just out of the corner, next to the deli. I always thought men who work with their hands were sexy. Will you stop being such a slut? Better than being frigid. <laughs> I see you on your way to the market. I shop for the house. That's the time you go to the store, you must stop by my shop. We have many things that you might not like. Thank you. You're very kind. I'd love to see your place of business. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could give me the grand tour? I'll leave you the paint under the stairs. Uh, 
Yeah, thank you, Mr. <laughs> Salviano. I apologize for my mother's rudeness. Sorry. Ciao! I don't see you yelling at Mina for being a slut. What is slut? Someone who's not afraid of men. A daughter should show her mother some kindness. Not when she's acting like a horny teenager. <laughs> Everyone likes a warm body next to them. <laughs> Even Mama-san's looking for somebody to snuggle up with. She was being polite. You don't know anything about their culture. <laughs> I know that was flirting. A little low-key for my style. Mm -hmm. But flirting. So, uh, Mina. How long's it been? You've been here long enough to start dating. You are way off base, and you're insulting Mina. You're a mature woman, grown. Not getting any older. Women our age are meant to care for their families, not their own selfish appetites. <laughs> if a nice man asked you to dinner, you wouldn't say no. Uh, Tarek would not approve. You just drop it, okay? Aren't you a little curious? You stay out of her business and stay out of mine. All mothers are just monsters to you. Enough! All you do is just stare at each other. It's just, just the, the way, way we talk. Drives <laughs> are friendlier. I put you and Tarek go at it. Not like you. Day after day. Karen, show your mother some respect. Yeah, and you. <laughs> you are her example. This is why she fails in the house. Oh, your son's not exactly pulling his weight in the relationship category. Yeah. Don't go blaming this all on Karen. She's done her best. You, you really believe that? You're perseverant. You get that from your father, not from me. <laughs> well. Well, you dig your heels in when you want to. You mean I'm stubborn. <clears throat> I mean you're strong. You stick to your guns. I wish I was more like that. That's better. Now, Kara, you must fix things with Tarak. H honey, cut him some slack. Like you both need to stay out of this, because we're working it out on our own, OK? We're both adults. <laughs> Maybe you should loosen up the apron strings. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Tell her why he works so late. What are you talking about? He comes here every day for lunch. You should see the spread she lays out for him. A regular Maharaja. It's a two-hour ordeal. Tell her. He needs to eat. He's here with you every day. That's why he has to work late. Mm -hmm. He's my son. I have a right to feed him. Oh, please. You baby him. Mina's words of wisdom served up with curry. How do you know what we say? What do you say? Not so much. <laughs> Little things. He, I am his mother. And? He's confused. You live a very independent life. He's not used to this. See? He likes needy. I told you. He knows who I am, and I haven't changed. But when a woman refuses to marry, it is a sign that the man does not provide sufficiently. That's not what this is about. <laughs> Men don't like it when you point out the shortcomings. But this is ridiculous. Not to him. Grease the egos, what she <laughs> means. Pick a date for the wedding. He needs to know you believe in him. Yeah, he does. Nobody likes to be left out in the wind. Let him out of the penalty box. <laughs> Set a date? I swear. It's not so bad. We both survived marriage. It's not so different than what you got now. You will both be happy. How do you start a marriage based on a lie? I trusted him, and he let me down. And he trusts you not to back out. But you're sending dark signals. This is a very tense environment. You kids should be having fun, laughing once in a while. If you don't want to marry him, then say so. Let him go. I love him. Then you've got to take the leap. <laughs> 